I thought that those sorts of sardines is going to give a speech on uh, something like a Prince of Persia, some game or something like that. <laughs> Nevertheless, you gave a wonderful technical presentation and ensured that the audience uh, had their takeaway. So now we will move on to the next uh, trivia question. Uh, the question uh, is not for all of you. The question is for VP member membership. So how many members are there in Midli? Uh, as of now, 60. Nine and uh, we are adding two members, so 71. 70. Out of 70, what is the male female ratio? Ratio. Uh, so Any approximate number? Okay, it's okay. So, internationally, so what is the male female ratio amongst the Toastmasters? Any guess? More than 50 ladies. Anyone else? Woman ratio is a female is higher. Female is higher. 52. 50, 50 to 60. No, no, 50 plus only. 51, 52, 60. Yes, sir. So the ratio is 52% percent of our members are not eligible, sir. 51.8 percentage female uh, Toastmasters and 48.2 uh, is the male Toastmasters. So with that trivia, now we will move on to the next speaker. Before I call upon uh, the, the final speaker of the Enterprise segment, I will request uh, Good afternoon, Toastmaster Deep, Fellow Toastmasters, and Entertainer Toastmaster Ramlinger. Toastmaster Ramlinger is a time, the first speech in the entertaining speaker manual. The title of the speech itself is The Entertaining Speech. The specific title of his speech is English to English. The objectives as given in the manual are entertain the audience by relating a personal experience, organize an entertaining speech for maximum impact, and a place no time given is five to seven minutes. So it's short life works, get back and enjoy. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our fourth speaker would be the past president of Monday Christmas Club past area governor and currently VP education for Meraki. He has brought a lot of uh, good practices to this mentoring club and uh, today it is because of the efforts like uh, these people. So one is uh, the starting the meeting at 255. So like that uh, he has brought a lot of subtle processes and measures into mentoring process and uh, today is known as the one of the best humorous speakers because he knows how to subtly use humor in his speeches. Please put your hands and welcome to Mr. English, English, Toastmaster Ramya. Raise your hand if you did your school, schooling in English medium. Raise your hand if you did in Tamil medium or regional language. Toastmaster today, fellow Toastmasters and friends, I did my schooling in Tamil medium in SKHMB Higher Secondary School, Sivagasi. In my school, no one talks in English, including the English teacher. <laughs> English used to be a nightmare for me. English 1, English 2, there are two methods. English 1 is pretty simpler. You have got lessons, question and answers, simply mugger and go on, simply vomit. Simple. Guarantee 50 to 60 marks. English 2 is a different method. You can't prepare anything. Grammar, composition, summary writing. I don't know what to write actually in all these exams. So I follow a few techniques to come up. In fact, my brother actually gave me a book, Brendan Martin. He told me, if you read this, you can go into a store, you'll pass. I opened the book. Past perfect, present perfect, nothing is going to be perfect. <laughs> See, it looked like a Greek and Latin for me. So what I did is, for summary writing, they'll give a paragraph, you go to summarize. 20 sentences, I randomly select 15 sentences and write the will be rough draft. And again I select randomly select 10 sentences, there will be fair draft. The teacher depends upon his mood, he will give 3 to 6 marks for 10, for 10 mark question. Simple. Another technique, punctuation. They give a small paragraph, you have to punctuate. I am a very generous person. For every two words, I give some punctuation. Comma, <laughs> colon, semicolon. Do you really know where to use colon and semicolon? To 
now I know when to use colon and semicolon. I was smiling. Otherwise, I don't know. But uh, even here, I do something and I get 3 to 6 marks for 10 marks question. Like this, somehow or other, I get fast marks. The rest of the subjects, I score really good marks. The entire class is made just English like me only. So obviously, I become the first time student. Correct? This work for in my favor till my 10th standard. When I moved to 11th standard, I had a much bigger problem. I chose commerce group. In my school, that particular group is available only in English. That means I have to muck up all the subjects commerce, economics, accounts. English itself is a problem for me. In accounts, they give problems in English. So my problem multiplied. Number one, I couldn't understand the subject. I don't know how to reproduce that in English. So my self esteem actually come down. This is problem number one. Problem number two in this plus one is, have you ever treated like a second class citizen somewhere? When I moved into plus one, the existing English medium students actually treated me like a second class citizen. Oh, you know, tuck in your shirts, Tamil medium student. You want to wear shoes, Tamil medium student. You drink water like that, Tamil medium student. What is the connection between drinking water and Tamil medium? I don't know. So, this actually humiliated me. My self esteem went down further. In the first monthly test, I scored really poor marks. In fact, I failed in few of these subjects. From the first track student, I began 42nd track. There were only 45 students in the class. I got 42nd rank. Three students were absent. <laughs> so, with the report card, I went to the phone with my father. My father did report. It was a second first track. What happened to you? I was struggling. Uh, uh, next month, uh, I will get good marks. I promise. And he signed and gave it to me. I felt of don't know what to do. I went to the classroom. These English medium students uh, are not humble like Tamil medium students. They actually show off. So they had a uh, uh, like prospectus <laughs> of CA, ICWA, ACS courses, and they were having a deep discussion. Okay, I am going to do this, you are going to do this, this will take them, all these things. And eagerly, I also uh, got the discussion. Hey, tell me, what are these courses? How long it will it take? Is it distance education? All these things. I asked them 10 15 questions. Any of these questions, they simply told me, hey, all these things will be in English. <laughs> <laughs> I felt insulted. I don't know what it was. That night I couldn't fall actually. It looked like a hopeless end for me. Next day my class teacher called me. Mom, what's your problem? I explained it. I promised my father to get school from good class. And my friends are bullying my friends. I want to challenge them that. I simply looked into my eyes and I said, Now, don't do anything for this world. Do it for yourself. If you are agreeing to do something for the world, it's a promise. That means whatever the effort you are going to put is going to be a pressure for you. If you, want, if you are agreeing to do it for yourself, it is a commitment. It will be a pressure for you. That words shifted something inside me. Our internal channel happened that time. Even that night I couldn't sleep because of excitement. What looked like a hopeless end now looked like an endless hope for me. So next day I went and bought Tamil books of all these subjects, commerce, economics, Tamil version of the books I bought and read. So I understood the subjects first. Now I have to reproduce the subjects in English. If I went back to Renan Mali, it would have taken me light years for me to complete plus one. What I did is, I learned some few basic sentence formats. That's all. With that few sentences, four to five sentence formats itself, I will reproduce whatever I have learned. Simple. Without planning, you can't produce results. Simple, right? So without planning, you can't run the meeting. Like this, I will few small sentence formats, I will come, come complete everything. Slowly, I started getting good marks. Six months from there, 
Now we examination. Out of 500, I got 482. I got first rank. When I got first rank, I didn't went back to my friends to challenge them. But see, from Tamil medium, I got first rank. I didn't went to my friend, father and tell him, see, father, I promised I got. No. But I went to the mirror and looked into the person in the mirror and told him, I'm proud of you.